Good morning. We are going to start today by reviewing the parts of fractions. Yesterday, we spent the day reviewing fractions and what they meant. So just real quick, we're going to look at this before we move into our um, new information. So we have a fraction here. We have two thirds. That top number is our numerator. The bottom number is our denominator. Denominator tells us the number of equal parts that the whole is divided into. So if I have a circle, I've divided it equally into three parts according to this fraction. The numerator tells me how many parts we have. So I have two out of the three parts. Fractions also show division. That division sign is just a fraction bar. If you look, the top dot can be your numerator, the bottom dot is your denominator, and the bar in between is your fraction bar. So this is very important. Always remember that Ms. Houchin says that a fraction is just a funky looking division problem. All that happened was they took a division problem from being horizontal and flipped it to being vertical. So we can remember it like this. What is being shared divided by who is getting the items that are being shared. So what is being shared goes on top. That's our numerator. Who gets the items being shared is on the bottom. That's our denominator. So let's look at this problem. Seven puppies share a five pound bag of dog food. How much food will each puppy get? So what is being shared? Five pound bag of dog food is being shared. Who gets the items being shared? Seven puppies. So we're going to turn those two numbers into our fraction. So each puppy is going to get five sevenths pound of dog food. Because our numerator is what's being shared. That's our five pound bag of dog food. Our denominator is who gets those items, and it's seven puppies. So each puppy gets five-sevenths pound of dog food. All right. An elementary school receives five boxes of minerals for its earth science classes. The six science teachers at school share the boxes equally for their class. And so our question is, what fraction of a box will each teacher receive? So let's talk about what are they having to share? They're having to share those five boxes of minerals. Who is having to share them? Six science teachers. And we know that with these key words of sharing equally that it's going to be a fraction. So we have our five boxes, six science teachers. So using that information, Make the fraction. How or what fraction of a box will each teacher receive? Remember, our numerator is what's being shared. Our denominator is how many people are sharing it. So your answer, the fraction of a box that each teacher will receive is five, six. Five as our numerator, six as our denominator. Five on the top, six on the bottom. 